Okay, I'll show you guys how I do the waterproofing of uh, my ESCs. This right here is the Hyphy Swordfish ESC. Um, this is the 200 amp low voltage version picked up from Offshore Electrics. Um, so far, all I've done was to remove the heat shrink covering on it. This is the heat shrink. Just cut it off. All, next thing I did was to just place a piece of tape over each end of the connectors. And that's going to make sure that um, none of the waterproofing uh, product gets on any of the connections. Next thing I did was uh, just place some cooling line or fuel tube over the water um, nipples. And that's to make sure those don't get clogged up with the product either. Uh, what I use to do all my waterproofing is is this Performex liquid electrical tape. Uh, this is the spray can version. Uh, I like the spray version a lot better than the... Um, the, the, the brush on version. Um, the brush on version just makes a complete mess of everything and this also dries uh, really clear um, so you don't you know, get a big glob of, um, of uh, liquid electrical tape on there. So what I want to do is I'm going to pause the tape. I'm going to go put one coat of this on front and back making sure that I get into the, um, the gaps really good and then after the one coat um, we'll take a look at it and see if we need another coat or, or even more after that. But right now I'll do one coat and then I'll show you what I do with it after that. Okay, so I got the first layer of uh, waterproofing coating on the ESC here. Right now I have it sitting over here um, drying out. Um, I got it pretty good with one coat. You can see the film layer on top of it. Um, I'll probably go over it with a second coat at least and maybe even a third. So I want to show you um, how I waterproof the receivers, and I want to show you how it actually works. Um, so over here we have a standard Tactic TR324 uh, receiver. Um, this is just a regular three-channel receiver. These, are, these things are really nice. Um, I really like the Tactic radio systems. And no antenna, and it's 2.4 gig. So what I'm going to do is is um, set the camera down here so I can post it up. I'm just going to uh, open up and then you can see already that it's already been pre-waterproofed um, using the Performax which I showed you. Uh, this is how I do everything. So I'm going to take this out of the case just to show you the front and the back of it. Okay, so that's what it looks like, and this is how I do it. I take it out of the case here, and then I place a small piece of foam over the connections, just like that. So I place a small piece of foam over the connection, and that makes sure that none of the waterproofing um, electrical tape gets on any of these connections. You don't want any of that on there, or you'll get a bad connection. So this is what the tactic looks like waterproofed. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it back in the in the case here, and I'll actually demonstrate how this works. I'll stick this receiver. Um, I'll hook it up to a servo here. This is just a standard uh, tactic servo, and just a receiver pack. And I'll hook it up and I'll put it in a glass of water and show you that my waterproofing methods really do work. So we, I just had to pause the video to put it back together. And we're going to set up the servo here. We have our radio. I'm just going to plug the servo in. Alright, servo's in. Radio is on, and we'll hook up the battery connection here. Make sure we get the servo to work. Sorry that I'm shaking with the video. It's my cell phone. I only have one hand. So we have the bind plug on. Excuse me, the light is on. And one thing I do want to mention is when you use the Performax, it does not interfere with the bind plug. Um, I code all my receivers, and I bind them just fine. So we have it hooked up. There's a servo. We have full servo. 
there is a cutoff bottle of water. And I'm just going to dunk this right in here and show you that it really does work. Okay, so the receiver is completely underwater right now. If you can see it in there, I don't want to drop my phone in the water because it's not waterproof. So there's the receiver, fully underwater. You can see the red light still on. And we still have function. So this is fully waterproof right now. Next thing we're going to do is we'll take it out, shake it dry a little bit. And then I'll unplug it, get that out of the way, <coughs> get that out of the way, turn this off.